everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're going to look at some pants again today. These are the Empire F6 contact pants. So this is their latest version pant. And as the trend for pants is, is going, pants are getting lighter, they're getting less padded, and they're getting uh, more breathable and just easier to move around in. So most things are trending away from the big bulky padded pants, going towards light, maneuverable, fast pants. Um, with the idea that people are going to be wearing pads underneath them. So they still have padding in them, but just not as much as we used to see in the past, which I think is a great idea. Um, makes just for a more comfortable playing experience and a more comfortable pant. So these F6 here um, is, a, you know, is a perfect example of that. At the top here, uh, the fly is padded a little bit in the front. You've got a nice pull tab to grab onto, making it easy to get in and out of with gloves. Pull, you got two snap buttons, Velcro, another snap, and your zipper. So plenty of uh, secure closing in the fly. Inside, we've got the, the mesh panel on the inside, which is just to, just to the knee. So not a big deal inside of there. I'm not gonna get caught on anything because it doesn't really go down far enough. Um, and that's it. It's basically a, a pretty standard inside there, nice and thin breathable, lightweight. Let's make sure we get all our snaps done. All right, so on the outside here, these uh, these top pockets, these have that weather resistant, uh, it's almost like a face to it right there. So when the zipper goes down, they come together and they keep, they make a barrier to keep out the elements, whatever it may be, dirt, rain, mud, sand. Um, so it keeps whatever's inside there nice and protected. And then, on the right side pocket here, you do have a microfiber on a bungee, uh, but that is only on the right side. Another interesting little feature right here, if you can see, they made a little pocket down at the bottom for the zipper. So when you slide it down, the zipper actually tucks into a little pouch. So it's not just flopping around down there. I don't know if that really is important, but it's on there. Um, they added an extra pocket now on the new F6 pants. So typically you would just have uh, your one pocket up at the top on both sides, but now there's an extra pocket that they put down on the thigh. Again, a nice big pull tab to get into it with gloves, big Velcro strip that goes across right there. And then as you can see, the shape of the stitching right here is the size of the pocket. So a uh, thigh pocket, put whatever you want into. It's an easy access pocket with good closure on there. Now you can see all the holes in here, laser perforated. So they actually fire a laser at these and cut holes in them. Um, keeps the uh, air transfer going on. And because it's done with a laser, you're not gonna get fraying because there's a hole in it. You're not gonna get ripping or tearing. Uh, so pretty interesting. The, uh, the crotch, four-way stretch, that Cordura stretch right there. So uh, you're not gonna pull the pants or blow the crotch out of any of them uh, when you're doing your super crazy dives and rolls. Uh, stretch zone again over the knees, give that knee pad a little bit of movement so it doesn't just tear apart. Now we'll get down to the padding actually. Let me pull this up here. There we go. Padding is a good size pad right here from the knee down to kind of the shin area. Uh, but again, it's thin. It's not a big honking piece of padding that's inside there. You can see how easily I can just crumple that right up. I'm not even trying to crumple it up because it's not a big bulky foam pad. It is um, a very basic pad inside there. I would recommend wearing knee pads underneath, but that's up to you. Kind of just tailor it to the play style that you have. Moving down, more uh, laser cut holes, as well as a drawstring cuff for the ankle. Keeps your pants out of the mud, keeps you from ruining your pants and destroying your investments. Um, the back here, you see that you've got hip padding right here. So there's a little bit of foam padding on the sides to protect you when you're diving and sliding and from when you're getting shot. The back side has uh, the silicone printing, the name and this kind of honeycomb pattern that's on here. All that sticky silicone keeps your pack in place, keeps it from, uh, from bouncing around on there. Uh, I didn't mention the belt. So the belt is adjustable on the sides. So we can unvelcro this, maybe. There we go. And then we can pull it, wrap it around and secure it on there. So you've got the Velcro all the way across the back. So it gives you plenty of uh, attachment points, but you've also got your own belt loops. 
So if you don't want to use their system right there, which I mean, it's there, why not use it? But if you don't want to and you want to use your own belt, you've got belt loops all the way around so you can use your own belt if you need to. Uh, battle swab po uh, pouches right there. Mesh uh, inlays to keep the air transfer going on. And then again, more laser cut holes on the back to keep everything nice and cool. Uh, so pant wise, like I said, pants are trending more towards function rather than protection, although they do offer protection, obviously. But um, really the trend is towards uh, agility, maneuverability, uh, just feeling like you're not wearing a big bulky pair of like protective pants. Uh, so definitely give these a look. These things are sweet, uh, easy to move around in, nice and cool, offer protection, uh, everything you need. So the new F6 Empire Contact Zero pants, they're available, actually I don't think they're Contact Zero, are they? Uh, no, yeah, they are Contact Zero. Contact Zero F6 pants. They're available through the website, but you can only get them in black. So um, check for size availability. Order yours now through ansgear.com.